show here on the Facebook. We'll talk about this later. Get down, down, down. We'll talk about this. We're here on the Geeky Puppet Show today for Spider-Man! It's Venom's startling first appearance, and we are covering issue 300 after that, just so that way you get the full Venom experience. No need to tease ya. Let us go ahead and just pull it right on up. Get right into it. That's right. Go for it. Are we skipping? Hmm? Did we skip an issue? No. Oh, it was 299. 299? 300. No. Okay, I thought we were reading 297, the cover of before, because that was the first appearance of... Uh... Okay, never mind. No, you didn't correct me before. But the special 25th anniversary issue of The Amazing Spider-Man! There you go. What's that? Stan <laughs> Lee proudly presents a comic book milestone. The fan... The... Fabulous 300th issue of The Amazing Spider-Man. Venom. Green Yard proudly presents. Venom. Her name is Mary Jane Watson Parker. But she doesn't know that. At this moment, she knows almost nothing. For her mind has been harshly numbed. All thought cruelly drowned in an onrushing tide of primal fear. An emotion that may never fully fade. Don't come near me. Please, don't touch me. David Michelini is the writer. Todd McFarlane is the artist. And you can read the rest. And Rick Parker no, is dead. No, no, no. We only read for Simek here. Okay? Okay. Tom DeFelco, editor-in-chief. Take point. <laughs> Stop this! No 2016. More. Oh my gosh! It's a new comic book. No, it's not. Mary Jane, what's wrong? Stay away, please. No more. Hey, huh? It's okay. It's me. Me? Me, me, me. me. It's Peter. Peter? Oh, God, Peter. He was in the apartment waiting for me. Uh, he looked just like you. Ben Riley? Oh, Lord. Huh? <laughs> like Spider Man! He wore a costume, but he was big, bulky, like a weightlifter. Ben <laughs> Shush. Like a weightlifter. He wanted to know where my boyfriend was. He didn't even know we were married. Never mind that. Are you okay? Did he hurt you? Not physically. He just made me feel so helpless. But what if he is looking for you? He grew a mouth, Peter, right on his mask. He grew it. Ugh. He, he wasn't human. We don't want to talk about what else he can grow. Uh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well let's not worry about that right now. Let's worry about that later. Right now, I'm getting you to a doctor. And? No, I, I mean I'm okay. Really, it's just I can't stay here tonight, Peter. Not, not after. I understand. I'll throw some things in an overnight bag, and we'll just go to the hotel. You just take it easy. Mary Jane's one of the strongest women I know, but she's trembling like a little girl. What kind of monster could do that to her? Hi. Right. Answer the kind that currently crawls up the sheer wall of a South Bronx tenement. The kind that has just come home. Froggy. Yeah, yeah, I know. The woman wasn't our drink. But shaking her up could still work. I mean, if we don't fight him, he might fight us. Either way. It's just a matter 
of time. It's just a matter of time. He has a pump uh, a little iron. Pop a sweat, you know. Eat some Pringles, watch some sports. <laughs> it may not get your power from the muscle, buddy, but I sure do. It almost looks like a blonde Eric Breen. <laughs> I tell you what, kid. <laughs> and I want to make certain I'm in shape, you know. <laughs> For the kill. Midnight. The Linden House Hotel in mid-Manhattan. Can't sleep. Too tense. Think I know who that intruder could have been. Trouble is... Dot, dot, dot. That's impossible! Don't know who the man who broke in was, but from MJ's description, the inhuman thing she saw sounds an awful lot like an inhuman. Or the thing. Or my old costume. <laughs> you betrayed us. I first got my black and white suit on another Ooh, planet uh, during, the, during the awesome event called Secret Wars. During that Beyonder thing. I brought it to Earth because it was great having a costume that could mimic my civilian clothes and change from one to the other at a mental command. Well, Ronnie wants that poster on the wall. Wow. I, actually, I wouldn't mind it either. Well, the more Impulsy Secret Wars issue 9. Yes. It's all over his junk. <laughs> the problem started when Mr. Fantastic discovered what my costume really was. A wet blanket. A living, thinking, symbiotic being. An alien who wanted me for its host. We even tried to bond itself to the body. With consent. Finally, took Mr. Fantastic Sonic Black to capture the creature. But it escaped. Determined to join with me permanently, I got desperate. So desperate that I lured it to a church tower and let the power of Christ compel it. I <laughs> let the shattering clamor of the bells kill the monster before it could destroy me. Thank you, Fazimoto. Spider-Man number one, J.S. And, uh, and also Spider-Man 3, the Tobey Maguire series. There you Oops. go. But from what Mary Jane says, the reports of that death may have been somewhat premature. Greatly exaggerated. Greatly exaggerated as well. Nuts. I'm really strung tight. In the past, I'd loose it up with a little web swinging. Maybe take some photos for the Daily Bugle. But I'm a married man now, and I have to stay with Mary Jean until... Peter, come to bed. What responsibility? I don't know what that word means. <laughs> I think I know who terrorized you, MJ, and why they're after Spider-Man. I hope my, ha my having a secret identity would shield you, but... Hush, Tiger. When I signed on for better or for worse, I meant it. Now let's get some sleep, okay? Stubbornly, grungingly, fitful sleep finally comes. And eventually, as the sun slips into the its assigned position over Manhattan once more. Oh no. <sighs> Uh, Mary Jane? Over here. Come over here, Peter. Shield your eyes. Don't look, Zach. You can't look. <laughs> Don't look, Ethel. Is Don't look. I told you. Outrage. I hope you weren't calling room service. I already know. <laughs> 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 Say it! I know what I want for breakfast. I already know what I want for breakfast. Uh, hint, hint. <laughs> Silly. I was calling a real estate agent I know. I've pulled in some markers. And some crayons? And we've moved to the top of the waiting list for the Bedford Towers. If we want that condo, it's ours. But it usually takes months to get a good place in Manhattan. Also, his back muscles are insane. I guess we were just lucky. I know this is so... You hush it, Eric. <laughs> I 
guess we were just lucky. I know this is sudden, Peter, but I just can't live in that apartment anymore. I'm screaming every little creak or rattle. You do understand, don't you? Well, uh, I, I guess. I knew you would, Peter. Oh, I love you so much. He is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> they said we could look at the condo this afternoon, and I really like to get some pre-move pictures, you know, before and after. Okay. Well, I'll pick up my SLR at the apartment after I shower. That single lens reflex camera. For all of you photography noobs. Yeah. Great. I'll see what I can do about reserving a van and recruiting some help. Looks like this is working out. My trip to the apartment will make a perfect cover for the other errand I have to run. Uh-huh. Blit, blit. Good old Chelsea Street. Blit, blit. I, if I had a nickel for every time I've dropped through this skylight, maybe I could afford to pay for my share of that condo. <laughs> Speaking of which... I wonder if there'll be a problem getting in and out of Spider-Man. Guess I'll swing across that bridge when I come to it. Now I've got other things to worry about and to take precautions against. Do I have a gun in there? Yep. Oh, yep, I do. Are you borrowed... happy to see me? I borrowed... <laughs> I borrowed this Sonic Blaster from the Fantastic Four on my way over. I just hope I don't have to use it. No cameo! <laughs> huh? A light blinking on Mary Jane's answering machine. Better see what it is. Beep. Hi, kids. This is Aunt May. Just going to remind you about dinner tonight. Chicken and dumplings at 7 p.m. Short. Uh, I mean, sharp. Oh, phooey. I hate these contractions. Click. Sony She's still alive? I forgot about her. Oh, hey, Sony. <laughs> yeah, that's why Sony's making the Spider-Man movies. Yeah. How prophetic. <laughs> Aunt May will get such a kick when she hears about the fancy West Side condo I'm moving into. Quite a step up from this place. Of course, when you come right down to it, I'm going. I'm gonna miss living here. Sure, it's a dump. For the last few years. It's been my dump. Ah, well. Oh, look at him. He's doing all the packing himself. You identify with what you are. He's making Still. up that lack of a phone call. Don't know how many pics MJ wants. I've got 36 exposures of 200 DX in my camera, nerd. I hope that's... Huh. I couldn't be in any danger or my spider sense would warn me. But somehow I almost feel like I'm being watched. I feel I'm... like you're William Shatner? Yeah. Wait, wait I'm Coca-Cola. I am. I am. <laughs> I'm being followed. Les Miserables. That's close. Les Miserables? Les Miserables. I know, followed I'm... by the food. Followed. He's ducking into an alleyway. <laughs> Must be a short guy. Alas, no crowd to hide in. We better give him a few seconds again. And then. What? He's gone. Yeah. Aaron was here. Punk rules. Living in New York for so long may have made me paranoid, but I can't help believing that old saying better safe than sorry. Or than splattered. Sounds worse. Yeah. And thus, a short while later, the exclusive Bedford Towers condominium blah, 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 residence. Condominium. <laughs> wow. Look at all the birds. Ah, ah, mine, 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 it's mine, the bird mine. saying that. You took Froggy's line. <laughs> Twiddles, is that you? I don't, <laughs> I don't believe I'm really going to live here. I mean, it was such a big deal when I got my own place. Now I feel like I'm getting my own palace. Look at all this floor space. There's so much room for activities. Hey, Tiger, a top fashion model like yours truly has an image to maintain. Besides, with this kind of space, we'll almost have enough room for all of my clothes. 
<laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's just going to take some getting used to, and I, well, I still wish that I could help pay for it. Peter's really, Peter's feeling really down about my making so much more money, <coughs> money than he does. But maybe I can help. Listen, go Peter. On, go on. Listen, Peter. Have you ever thought about fashion photography? Working for Playboy? Sure, I have. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, MJ. I just don't have the right training for that. Oh. Oh, oh, poo. oh, poo. You'll Stop never it. know. <laughs> Shush. You'll never know till you try it with a subject like me. How can you go wrong? Well, only when uh, Aunt May sees a picture later on. Later she's later. At least give it a shot. What have you got to lose? Well, uh, okay. Uh, talk to the camera, baby? Yeah. That's it. That's hot. Click, click, click. That belt Once again, with more feelings, Zach. That was back in the 80s. Sell it to me, baby. Now, <laughs> now, oh, um, <laughs> think Cosmo. Think. Um, thou make me. <laughs> I can't do it. It's too funny. Get it on. All right. Uh, shouldn't we have a, a wind machine or something? Cos Cosmo thinks we should have wind machine. Ah, heck. I'm not cut out for this. It just feels silly. It's hopeless. Hold that thought, Tiger. You're going to get something better. <laughs> Uh-oh. Peter's or... giving... <laughs> Shush! Uh-oh. Peter's getting even more depressed. Got to do something to perk him up. In Thank you, man. <laughs> In that case, <laughs> man of mine. Take a load of these. Yeah. How about taking some snaps for our private collection? Slowly, Peter's spirits begin to rise. Just as spirits. Like, this is why Tom and McFarlane had the best run. And that's not the only thing. And that evening at the Queen, <laughs> Queens County Boarding House, owned and run by May Parker. She's oh, stuck she in a boarding that? house? You live in a condo? Wow. <laughs> Great nephew you are, Peter Parker. Uh, my, you youngsters certainly look healthy. <laughs> Marriage must agree with you. Well, we just had, I mean, I mean, hi. Well, apparently it does, May. That nephew of yours has been ignoring you even more than before he got hitched. Ouch. Who is this guy? Now you hush, Nathan Lebunsky. The children have lives of their own to lead. Yeah, Lebunsky. You're touching my hair, Amy. I hope you'll forgive my little <coughs> tirade. I better go put these dishes in the soak. I'll help. Oh, no, dear. You stay with Peter where you belong. Oh. Yeah, remember, you don't want wow, to this. Wow, that's a sexist me. attitude, May. It's 2021 already. It's 2022. Yeah. Back in a second. Uh-huh. Yeah, you was a year and Lucky Lindy himself came into my shop. I remember. It's so does Pepper Chabar. <laughs> hey, I've been getting to ask me to ask you. This is the first time you've had us over since we got married, and you haven't visited us at all. It's almost like, well, you're distancing yourself from us. Some could say social distancing. I don't mean to do that, Mary Jane. I just want your marriage to work. And so many couples get split apart by nosy relatives who try to run their lives for them. I think it back. It means all right. Or when, or when, or when one of them says, "Let's I'll let the old lady live in the heck with the marriage." <laughs> but you're not nosy, May. You just care about us. Why, Peter would be crushed if you dropped out of our lives. And May. He may make, me make a deal with the devil. Yeah. So would I. I know you would. I was there. I watched. <laughs> I'm the watcher. Oh, well. <laughs> I guess in that case. It's astounding that she just got younger. 
because uh, in the beginning she was so frail that what? she could she... die at the nearest shock, and now she's running a boarding well, house. That's why the MCU is so close to the comic books, you know? Yeah. Well, she gets younger, it's a couple of... Yeah, right? <clears throat> Peter, if I'm not the first guest you asked to your new home, I'll have the Grey Panthers pick the place so fast it'll make your head spin. What are the Grey Panthers? Like... That they were, they were act, there was actually a group called the Great Panthers. They they were like an activist group for, for uh, old people's rights. Mm. Aunt May, I'll have the invitation engraved tomorrow. There really was such a thing. Huh. But tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you, tomorrow is only it's a only day a away. Day away. While tonight, at our late... Oh, yes, while tonight at Our Lady of Saints Church in Lower Manhattan. It all began here. It's only fitting that it should end here. Don't you agree, Robin? <laughs> yes, I thought you... Free! What looks like putting extra foot patrols on the beat worked. The sergeant's gonna flip when I uh, bring in the scum who's been pilfering poor boxes in the area. Yeah, we'll eat hot death. I mean, <laughs> don't be a fool, boy. Petty cash is no concern to me. I only yeah, eat well, that's that's not what the broken lock on the front door says. You'd better come with me, Buster. Oh my gosh. It Did like it talk to you, Archie? Ten Ten grew up and became a police officer. <laughs> it seems you leave us no choice. Though you probably won't believe that we find this particular choice rather repulsive. What? Oh, no. Tentacle time! Flip. Well, we are so suffocating! What's the same word? Oh. Innocent death is always unpleasant. But nothing must stand in our way. Nothing must block our righteous revenge. And by all that's sacred, nothing will. Five more seconds and I'll be naked. Hold still. A day passes. The young policeman's body is not found. And as evening settles once... What? View that it's and as e <laughs> and... Oh, gosh. And you as evening perfect. settles once... Once more over the imposing edifice of the Bedford Towers. Sorry this move is so late, folks. On such, on such short notice, I couldn't get a van any earlier. No problem, MJ. Oh. Yeah, it looks like Flash. Yeah. It is Flash. It is Flash. No Whoa. Problem, MJ. Whoa! That red-headed guy's hairdo is radical! Look at the nice. waves! Look at the, the corner. It's Harry Osborne with blonde hair. Look at that. I, I yeah. guess Harry Osborne has forgiven uh, forgiven everyone. Yeah, for sure. Man, I'm missing the next game. It makes me mad. Who, Who's that are, us? who are these people? Is that Harry? <laughs> I, I ran out of your friends, Peter, so I called in some of mine. How do you know these people? You're like, Look, you you guys see Fraz in the background? Go back. Do hurry with those boxes, Jeeves. Watching you carry them is positively exhausting. You know what it is? It's Matt Murdock. No, it's not. Uh... No, it's not. I know. It looks like him, though. That's why I wouldn't do it. That's like Matt Murdock. Okay. Very okay. good, sir. That's awesome. Jeeves, might have some more. Wow, these Pete's are, these are Pete's neighbors? Candy, Randy, and Bambi, oh my! Man, if I had them living next door, I'd never move. You guys ever seen the five hairy sphincter spider? Hey! 
Watch it! Easy, boys. Don't hurt yourselves. And eventually... Are you right, Payne? That's the last one. Shoot, I was just getting pumped up. Calm down, Gumby shirt. Hey, hey, the ladies love Gumby. <laughs> Gumby is cool. Gumby is cool. Go, son. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Maybe they'll let you carry the van back to the rental again. You see Flash? Come and get it. Sandy and I'll build some more sandwiches while you guys work on these sodas. On these sodas are in the fridge. Dig in. Mm, real Oscar Mayer balloon. I love it. Give me more thoughts to suggest. You may suggest your pink about getting out of the news photography. You're the Bugles editor in chief, Robbie. How could I not take you seriously? In fact, I've been thinking how science used to be my driving ambition. Maybe. Huh? Uh, excuse me, Robbie. There's uh, something I have to do. That's Robbie. Robbie? Need, need any help? Uh, no. I think I'd better handle this alone. I got soft hands. You know. I, mm. What size pants do you wear, Peter? No, no. <laughs> Three minutes later, over the South Bronx. I'm waving the Daily Bugle, effective immediately. <laughs> that creep must have checked Chelsea Street <laughs> and thought I wasn't there anymore. I now did. he's looking for me, and I couldn't take a chance on him finding me with all my friends around. Mm -hmm. And and Harry and you Bobby. You want some boy? I just hope he hasn't gotten so far ahead that... Bingo. Crawling into that abandoned building. I'll just follow, scope out the situation, then take him by surprise. After all, my spider sense will warn me if there's any danger. Mm. Right? Right? Wham! Wrong. Oof. Welcome to my neighborhood. Sparman! <laughs> would you, could you be my neighbor? Oh, this guy is nuts. <laughs> Rogers, no! But that costume is giving me the shivers. Got to be the alien. Have to stall. Reach the blaster. Who, who are you? Don't say you're me. You may call me. But, um, for what I paid to screw up these days, I'm your victim. Spider-Man! I ruined. Isn't you ruined? But I still don't know who. And your teeth aren't all sharp like they normally are. Call me Joe. Perhaps this will help. Mask flowing from his face. Looks familiar. Like <gasps> Eddie Brock? Eric Breen, same initials? Coincidence? I think not. Eat a hot death. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you've seen my picture in the Daily Global. Indeed, I used to be Eddie Brock. But before that, I was Eric Breen. Before that, Eric Brewer. <laughs> you stole my career, erased my future. It belittled everything I lived for. You ruined the Cardinals. My column in the Daily Globe was read by millions. I was a solid reporter, respected member of the fourth estate. And I love the Redskins. You ruined that too. These events occurred between the lines during spectacular Spider-Man 107 and 110 from Jim's Shooter. Also happened in the real life events of Eric Breen. <laughs> That was almost 200 issues ago. Are you saying I'm old? Eh, well... No, no, no. It's the other Spider-Man. I'm pretty sure it says Spectacular Spider-Man. Uh, oh, Spectacular series. Spider -Man. Gotcha. At least when I was uh, be began writing a series of articles on the Sin Eater murders a few months back, 
That was particularly because of those articles that I was contacted by Mr. Emil Gregg, the man who confessed to being Sid Eater. Nom nom nom, Sid. Rejecting Mr. Gregg's identity through my rights under the First Amendment, I told his story in incisively, compassionately. The globe circulation soared. But pressure also mounted. The police insisted that I reveal my source so that could, they could stop the murder spree under the advice of StreamYard Duck. Consul, I finally wrote my masterpiece, announcing Greg as a scene eater. Ex it was exclusive, exclusive from the Daily Globe, Sins Eater Revealed. It was sensation. No. That's it. Keep talking. For about an hour and a half, that was how long it was before you revealed who the real senator was. Oh, dear God, more down. Soon the whole city knew that the senator was actually policeman Stan Carter. And that my story was based on the lurid ramblings of a compulsive confessor. The globe was a laughing stock. I was fired. I couldn't even get a job at Joe's. It was horrible. My peers questioned my ethics, shunned me. I was forced to write venomous, <laughs> keyword venomous, <laughs> celebrity exposés, and I was kidnapped by aliens. They did things to me. They made me better. I'm now a $6 million man. Driven for scandal rigs. Just to eke out a living. E-K-E. Eek. Eek. Yes, eek. Eek. If you hadn't butted in, no one would have known that Emil Gregg wasn't the senior. Perhaps Carter would have been smart and stopped his killings knowing he could get off scot-free. Perhaps... Just a little bit more. My life would have been shattered. I may have been, I could have been a contender. I may have made an error in judgment, but I was always a good journalist. And the garbage I was forced to write began to rot my soul. I relocated to the Bronx. Spent part of my meager income on a bodybuilding equipment. I heard that exercise could reduce stress, amongst other things. It didn't work. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a medication for that, though. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I lifted a barbell, it was your throat I was squeezing. Oh, no. It just turned into plastic, man. Each time I punched the heavy bang, I was pulping your face. I taped headlines about you on my walls, feeding my hatred, knowing that I couldn't get a story, even on the back page of any respectable paper. And until finally, pain become unbearable. Almost there. And then I decided to end it. I'll be, but I was raised a Catholic, and suicide is a mortal sin. So I wandered from my, from church to shadowed church, praying for forgiveness. And then in Our Lady of Saints, something odd happened. A shadow moved. It caressed me. I hope you consented to that. I did. It was wonderful. I even had a smoke up your woods. I was joined. Oh, God! <laughs> But this was a shadow filled with light. It clarified my anguish, focused my purpose. Its hatred for you matched my own. It knew who you were, and it had power. Oh, such power. We found the woman first. Later, we found your empty apartment. You were running from us. 
But the shadow knew you well. Knew you would have to learn who we were. So we went trolling online. <laughs> using ourselves as a lure. And apparently the bait. Now. Worked. Got it. Lunging for your weapon, trying to fight me. <laughs> Good. Uh -oh. Your teeth are still not pointy. It's kind of weird looking. Crow! I think I'm in trouble. <clears throat> the alien wasn't really killed by those bells. Must have just dissipated out of pain or rejection. Uh-oh. Aliens have feelings to boo. Quiet. Probably sensed Brock's desire to kill me and thought that was a good idea, since I had tried to kill it. Ah! Still don't know why StreamYard Duck's not triggering my spider sense, though, and I'm paying, I'm paying for that ignorance and pain. And the quacks. He's got all of my powers and more muscle. All I've got is experience. Have to use strategy. Call on my cunning to get him over to the blaster. All this black on black crime. Ah, so much crime. I was going to say teeth. For finesse. Rock, rock, I don't know. Now, you son of a. Leave my mother out of here. Ouch. At least the blast covers up his, his uh, little trouble nuggets. Thank God I remember to put underwear on. I don't get it. When Mr. Fantastic used the blaster on me, the symbiote was driven away. But it's only pulling away from Brock. Why isn't it detaching? Unless. Uh oh. It can't. It must have completely bonded with his body. That's why he isn't triggering my spider sense. The alien never tripped it. And now he is the alien. Oh, I got the power. Which means that if I kill it, I'll kill Brock. Oh well, sacrifices must be made. Don't know if I could take a human life, even to save my own. And after that beating I took, I don't have much fight left. I better regroup, think of a new plan. Leaving. Blip. I don't think so. <laughs> oh no. What? You. I want to crash. You. Night, night. Wop. Hey. Not that wop, the other one. Unknown hours pass, and I didn't need to think about that. <laughs> uh. Welcome back to the land of a living Spider Man. What a pity your stay would be such a short one. Yeah. Whoa. Lord! We hate that music. App prop. Sentiments. I propose. What she said. <laughs> Concerning the circumstances, just as my altered garb, it is appropriate. After all, we are in a manner of speaking about to exercise. Wow. A demon. <laughs> You tried to kill my shadow with these bells, Spider-Man! 
it seems only fair that you should now that they should kill you. The central bell is about to toll midnight, but you'll be cut jammed by the time it strikes two. Gut jam. Fun. We must leave. We must go to Joe's. Means <laughs> when the clapper squishes through the bare, through bare metal, the noise could be painful to us. But I promise we'll re return to view the remains. Coward. Venom's webbing is almost as, er, is as strong as mine. Must have used gallons of it to web me to this bell. I can hardly move. Have to figure some way to. Huh? In the distance, other bells are starting to toll. But that means. Oh, geez. Clapper's pulling back. What about Snapper? Car? No time to be fancy. Gotta use brute strength. Try to uh, push one hand through. Like trying to scratch through a cast iron glove. But it's the only chance I've... Phew. Stopped it once, but how many times can I pull that stunt before the bones in my hand are crushed to powder? Strange. We should have heard something by now. A crunch. Scream. Something. Ah! Now or never won't be able to stop it again. Maybe I don't have the strength to pull myself from the webbing in time, but I'll bet my good right arm that automated bell ringing machinery will rip your arm out of the socket. Does! <laughs> Retracting clapper yanked me free. Eat. Snapper. Thank heaven. Arm feels like it's been the main event in a taffy pull. But at least I'm... Blong! Ah, forgot about the toy. That was foul, Spider-Man. Cheap and beggarly. You broke the rules. Now. You'll have to be punished. I could stay here, let the bells do the trick. But that could kill me, too. Gotta get room to breathe so I can keep on breathing. Long. You gotta keep on keeping on. Think, Spidey. How can you fight this guy? He has the same powers as you, the same webbing, the same... Wait, he doesn't have the same webbing. When I wore the alien suit, I never needed webbing cartridges. Never even knew where the webbing came from. Goodbye. Came out of me. Out of my wrists. And I remember Puma saying the webbing was organic. It could mean it's made of the alien's own substance that he regenerates it over time. And that could be my key. Kirk. Amazing Spider-Man 259. J.S. Rick. To survival. Long. Long. Clock. Clip. If my theory is right, the alien wakes webbing from itself. And since it used so much to web me to that bell, it's got to be running low. Crack. No! If I keep 
forcing Venom to use that webbing to keep from falling, his reserves could get depleted. He'll be like a human being with a bad wound, losing lots of blood. He'll get weaker and weaker until finally... He runs out. I... <laughs> Insert one county reference. Brock's alive, and so is the alien, though it hasn't regenerated enough of its mass to be a threat yet. We'll need to contain them both, but that'll have to wait. Now, if only I can remember Mary Jane's calling card number. Wow, that's stated. Bedford Towers, this is Mr. Parker from 8C. We just moved in and don't have a phone yet. Could you possibly pass a message along to my wife? Be my pleasure, sir. What's the glad word? Oh. Just tell her I had to photograph a news story, that I'll be home soon, and most of all, tell her that I'm okay. And so, sometimes later at Four Freedoms Plaza, home of the legendary Fantastic Four, Fantastic current, Four. Team, huh? oh, no. current team leader Benjamin Grimm completes Improvised security arrangements. I've been with on the. <laughs> One second. I've been on the phone with Mr. Fantastic, and he says that the sonics being piped into the cylinder should keep Venom nice and docile, leastways. Till a special cell can be built for him at the vault. That prison soup. That government super prison out in the Rockies. I really appreciate this, Ben. Call me Breen. No, that guy's, the other guy's Breen. <laughs> nice room. Hey, no problem. Only next time, try to bring your loonies in a bit earlier, will ya? Felix, and fix yeah. my face. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that's a bad face for the thing. That's Felix the Cat, by the way, on the, uh, on the road. He looks very alien in that pose. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Like, Spider-Man! Spider sorry. sorry. Ah! Spider-Man makes the trip to Bedford Towers carefully, favoring his left arm. And once there, after his tale has been told... What's wrong, MJ? Uh -oh. You seem awfully distant. Uh-oh, here we go. I know. I said I was sorry. I did what I felt I had to do. Responsibility. I understand, Peter, really, and I'm glad you're okay. Then why the icebox treatment? Is it because I have to go right back out again? Sweetheart, if I don't show up at the bugle with photographs of something tomorrow, Robbie and the others will get suspicious about why I disappeared from the move party. I have to. I know. I, I didn't mean to snap at you, Peter, but you're right. I am upset. Only it's not because of you. It's because of, well, uh -oh. that. After all we've both been through, I don't think I'll ever feel comfortable around that costume. Yeah, I know what you mean. Ooh. Where is the thing out He has no nipples. He has no armpit hair either. Yeah. Wearing the same outfit as a homicidal maniac doesn't thrill me either. And since it's impossible to get Venom's suit away from him. Guess I'll just have to do without mine. Of course, swinging around the city in my web shooters and fruit of the looms isn't going to do any wonders for my image. Yeah, get pains. They're better. John Cena's. And I mean, <laughs> John Cena wears the same outfit, doesn't he? Yeah. Half of Suicide Squad. <laughs> no. I have an idea about that, Peter. She prefers that costume when playing PS4 Spider-Man. 
<laughs> now. Okay, next frame. I know this isn't a real costume, just a commercial copy you got when you were in Germany, but right now, it almost seems like an old friend. What do you think? It's Spider-Man. Oh, no, go ahead. Mary Jane, I think. And Spider-Man versus Wolverine special, J JS. You're the greatest. Woo. A lingering kiss, a quick change of clothes, and I wow. had the legend the time of my life. Right. The legend begins anew. And that is the end of issue 300 of the I gotta amazing. Point out, I gotta point out, we've been reading these, going through the Goblin story and all this, mm -hmm. and now you see that with, with Tommy McFarlane's art, it just really made the whole entire series better. And the the fact that he even Zach commented on the issue before this two ninety nine when he's on top of the truck, he's he sat like a spider. Yeah, he hadn't yeah. done that really in that much of the comics before that. No, he really hadn't. Todd went really into the whole arachnid thing. Yeah. Plus, he had that spaghetti webbing. You know what? I like spaghetti. It's great. So do it I. is. That is true. Well, that is our story, folks. Uh, we have been reading The Amazing Spider-Man! And that's your last one for tonight, Breen. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pull up this ticker right here below. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Did you enjoy the books? Did you enjoy our reading? Please let us know. If you want more Spider-Man, let us know that too. Check out the Ko-Fi if you can. Drop a dollar maybe. And if you do, well, the, if you have a specific book you'd like to read, just go ahead, put it in there, and we'll get it to the top of the reading list. Until then, for uh, Froggy Brock, Maranya, spider Zack. For to Eric Breed and Ash on Comics, thank you so much. And to everybody watching, see you next time. Bye! Bye! Eat hot Joe's. Eat oh. hot death. And also remember, you get a big delight out of every bite. Oh, of hostess fruit pies. Hostess fruit pies. Hostess fruit pies! <laughs>